lunch break after a life-threatening event, one woman changed her lifestyle and has quickly become a self-taught baker. Jane Jones, the no sugar baker, is here with us now with a favorite pecan pie cheesecake bar. Hi, Jane. Thanks for being here. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. Welcome to our kitchen. Oh, I love it. Well, listen, let's talk briefly before we talk about cheesecake. I want to talk about you because you became a mm -hmm. self-taught self-taught no sugar baker really out of necessity a life-altering event for you completely out of necessity so basically on my 46th birthday I ended up in the emergency room if you know anything about glucose when i was in the emergency room i was inches away from the stroke my glucose level was 300 plus an extra 300 in my urine so i was batting about 600 mm -hmm. usually close to 100 or below lost my eyesight for about three weeks it came back with flying colors. It's now 2020. I'm completely sugar free, medicine free. I was never knew I had the D word, diabetes. 60 pounds lighter and now have turned into a blog, the nosugarbaker.com, where we make all these great treats. I threw everything away in my kitchen when I first got sick. Mm. Everything is back and we're baking healthy and we're changing lives across fascination and it's fun and it's amazing too that food in all of this was really been it has been the key for you as you decide to move forward right you let the absolutely it's all based on nutrition you know i never really saw food as nutrition or the fuel before in my life now boy do i ever more i mean i watch everything that goes into my body i read every single label and i know exactly what the formula is i need in order to live healthy and be great Right, the best food can be the best medicine, and of course it can be the alternative as well, as you learned the hard way. Let's talk about your recipe, because when we talk about no sugar and we talk about yes. dessert at the same time, boy, that's a tough one for me to swallow. So I want you to share with us the trick to making or fooling you and your guests. Right, so today we're gonna make the No Sugar Baker Pecan Pie Cheesecake Bars. It's basically a marriage of two of America's favorites, pecan pie, medium cheesecake. And you know what? You don't lose the taste at all. The sweetness is there, except for we filled it in with a couple of his secret ingredients. So let's get started. Again, it's three easy steps. If I can do it, you can do it, I have no doubt. First, we're gonna take, we're gonna do the crust, okay? So find yourselves an eight by eight inch pan, Use parchment paper, line it up in a small bowl. Use one and one fourth cups of flour. Now here's your choice. We gotta keep this no sugar, right? So you can use an almond flour or all purpose flour. Your choice. You're gonna add in a stick of melted butter. Okay. So which is the key melted here. butter. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that in there just like so. And then we're gonna add in one fourth cup of an all natural sweetener. I happen to use Swerve. It works for me, so it's a granular, granular sugar. You just go ahead and you mix that up. It's gonna to come to resemble crumbs. Now this is important because it's a very buttery, great, rich, crusty taste. You're gonna pack, pack it into your pan. And you're gonna bake it at 350 for about 10 minutes. Don't over bake it or it's gonna taste like cardboard. And no Right, no, and the crust is often the best part, Jane. At least I think so right. anyway. And you miss the, you miss the, you, trust me, I know from months of eating nothing, yeah. you just don't miss that rich buttery crust. Okay, now here's the fun part. Okay. Moving on to step number two, the cheesecake layer. Inside my mixer, I have eight ounces of full, full fledged fat French cream cheese. Wow. I'm gonna add into it again, just a half a cup of the, our all natural sweetener. Again, I use Swerve, it tastes great, it works for my blood sugar. So you're gonna add in a half a cup of the sweetener. And Jane, let's talk about that for a minute because as we're substituting real sugar, isn't one of the issues for people who are trying to make this, I consider it a radical change, you may have to test a few different substitutes on this too. It, what works for you, you may to, not work for the other person. You do have to test a couple of different to figure out what's best for your body. Yeah. For me, this sweetener, which is all natural, doesn't have that funky taste to it. Right. It doesn't raise my blood sugar at all okay. and it works. So this works for me and it's very popular actually with baking. One egg, and the yeah. ratios are the, are the ratios changes to jump in there real quick. Are they more yeah. or less the same when you substitute swerve for the real thing? Or do it you kind of depends on the recipe, to be honest with you. I have a bunch of taste testers that we go out and taste test recipes for to see if it works, if it doesn't work. Yeah. And then also here's my next little hint or trick, vanilla. Now, on measurements, I tend to like a little bit more vanilla than the typical, okay. our former slash recipes, right? Okay. Because I think vanilla takes away a little bit of that punch, oh. okay, that you might get with the sweetener. So go ahead, I say a tablespoon, I don't even measure the vanilla anymore, I just go ahead and give it a squeeze. You're gonna take, put your mixer back on, you're gonna blend it as much as you possibly can, you're gonna get that light and fluffy, okay? Light and fluffy, just like the old 
cheesecake batter, this is what you want. And what's We're amazing gonna... in all this too, Jane, while you're cooking away there, I love that all the other ingredients really seem to be the stuff you would find in the, in the original recipe. It sounds to me like you're almost really only substituting the sugar, but and maybe altering, like you said, the vanilla and a few other things. Oh, that's some more secret ingredients, Julie. Stay with us here. Okay, so that now it's all nice and layered and ready to go. So you're just gonna take and you can put your filling right on top of your crust, okay? okay? It's creamy, it's great, it kind of does give that, you know that real New York cheesecake kind of sure. flavor that you want and crave and you love so much? It's creamy, it's great. Spread it across the, All right. right across the crust, fill it corner to corner, corner to corner, I hope you can see that. Okay. I think you can. Then, now we're going on to the pecan pie side of the world here. Make it so, ooey and gooey for us, my, ooey my buddy up gooey, here. And you know what, ooey, gooey, and sugar, salty. This How do you make here. it ooey and gooey with your substitute? That's what the sugar here does. Here we go. Here you we know go. what this is? Yeah. Can what? you see it? I can barely One see. half cup sugar-free breakfast syrup. Oh. Who oh, knew? Oh, so you can put that in your ooey, sauce gooey. Pan. Right, ooey and gooey. Just put that into your sauce pan, right onto your stove top. Now, okay. all natural, here, grab my spoon, right? All and natural, swerve, brown. Okay, brown, the brown version. Jane, we need to yeah. wrap this up real quick just for time here, but you've yeah. got the finished product right in front of you. I do. So what I'm going to do is add in your pecans, add in some chocolate chips. There they are. So ah. it's a perfect marriage between pecan pie, cheesecake, add a little Minnesota bar twist to it. And you know what? You can go to nosugarbaker.com to get all great recipes. Cookbook comes out next week. Eating well. How fun is that? And living well. Jane, thanks so and much for your two cents. The No Sugar Baker, we appreciate your time, and the recipe looks delicious. If you want more information on Jane's recipes, you can visit nosugarbaker.com. Of course, details for the pecan pie cheesecake bar, it can be found right here, wgntv.com slash midday.